You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASAF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this section, we are going to discuss antenna briefly and we will introduce different kind of antennas which are used in RF applications. So let's start. An antenna is a device usually metallic for sending or receiving electromagnetic waves. We discussed this before actually, we said we connect antenna to our receiver or transmitter or transceiver and using this antenna we send and receive electromagnetic waves. So uh, we have a transceiver, let's say this is TXRX and uh, we connect our antenna to our uh, transceiver. So using this antenna we uh, transmit and receive waves. So uh, what is happening in transmission, a radio transmitter applies a radio frequency to terminals of antenna. So here uh, in transmission we have a voltage, for example, here voltage and energy of course, power. So this antenna radiates the energy from itself as electromagnetic wave. And this electromagnetic wave has a, the uh, uh, radio frequency. And uh, vice versa, in reception, antenna intercepts some of the power of electromagnetic wave. Now this time, when electromagnetic wave comes to the antenna, it intercepts it and uh, it actually produces a radio frequency voltage or let's say current at its term terminal and uh, this current or voltage is applied to receiver in order to uh, be amplified and demodulated. So, uh, here uh, we have, as we said, we have carrier and data in our uh, wave. So we, s we receive this by antenna, we give it to our receiver and later on we separate, we down convert it, we separate the carrier and demodulate and lots of uh, operation uh, should be done here. So let's talk about the types of antennas. Uh, we start with log periodic antennas. Uh, we also call them a log period periodic array because it's a multi-element directional narrow beam antenna that works on a wide range of frequencies. So one of the advantages of this antenna is it's kind of a wide band uh, antenna. This antenna is made of series of dipoles placed along the antenna axis at different space intervals of time followed by a logarithmic function of frequency. And this antenna acts as resonator. So we can see the pictures here. Uh, we have different kinds like uh, log periodic antenna, bowtie antenna is also log periodic antenna and uh, dipole array as well. So uh, the most common type of the antenna used in wireless communication technology is log periodic dipole array, this one. Actually, you can see this kind of structures in uh, TV stations and for example if, if you have a TV in the past actually uh, it's commonly used and if you have TV you can see this kind of antenna so uh, we call them uh, log periodic because as you see they have array array of metals here and uh, they have special relationship and formulas this is kind of off topic we are not going to explain this in details so uh, what about the wire antennas they, we also call them linear or curved antennas. These antennas are very simple, cheap, and they are used in wide range of applications. And uh, let's show them here. As you see, this is a, we have dipole antenna and short dipole antenna. Short dipole antenna is the same, actually, as we see from the name, it's short one. So uh, we can see the structure of dipole antenna here. Uh, we have two metals, as you see, two metals. Uh, and we have current and voltage flow here as you see so uh, this is our source and we connect these metals as you see this is this part here so this is connected to the source to AC source and we do radiation using this two metallic rods and as you see here when it gets positive we, the, the current is going to the left side to the uh, end of the line but uh, when it gets negative current will be pulled back to the uh, AC source. This is how it works. As you see here, uh, the current is increasing and decreasing, it's like periodic. So we have radiation elements that split the roads and make current flow through the center by using a feeder at the transmitter out that takes from the receiver. We also have monopole antenna, as you see, 
So um, we say it's a half of a simple dipole antenna located over a grounded plane as shown in the figure. So this is a this is a plane here. It's a grounded plane as you see. So it's for example, you can see this on cars. It's a monopole antenna and it radiates uh, like this. So it can be something like this as well. So the source here, as you see, this is a, uh, this is a perfect. This should be a perfect electric conductor here. This is the source. And this is the antenna here, and it can be something like this as well. What about the loop antenna? Loop antennas are available in different shapes like circular, elliptical, and rectangular, etc. So one of the best examples here is RFID card. You have these cards, for example, uh, the, the, the card which has the chip inside it. Uh, if you use a flashlight and look through this uh, card you will see this antenna here and uh, it's, it's generally shaped around this card and around the corners as you see and for example here it has four turns so n is four and uh, we designed this based on different kind of uh, parameters like the the number of turns the uh, inner and outer radius for example the radius from the center up to here this is the outer, or maybe uh, this is the inner, for example, uh, radius the, uh, from the distance from center to the first turn. And also we have a radius here. Uh, so we need all of these parameter, parameters in order to design the antenna. This uh, kind of antennas are widely used in communication links with a frequency around 3 gigahertz. And it can be used as electromagnetic field probes in the microwave bands. So this is one of the commonly used antenna and we actually we have lots of these antennas in our cards and different kind of applications. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now, so you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question and then you can uh, press the uh, register button uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website and after that all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to check out and as you see click to enter your code you can put the the coupon code here and then apply the coupon so then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course as you see you won't pay anything for this course Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies it covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.